the SR-71 Blackbird is still the fastest piloted aircraft of all time, more than 50 years after its debut flight in 1964. The necessity for a plane with a similar mission is unknown because satellites have essentially taken over the purpose for which it was created, high-altitude aerial photography. This hasn't stopped the U.S. Air Force and Lockheed Martin from researching ways to accelerate the SR-71, or a variant further. Enter the SR-72, often known as the Dark Star or, alternatively, the Son of Blackbird. The SR-72 is currently simply a concept. None of the aircraft have yet been manufactured, much less flown. Having said that, if Lockheed Martin's ambitions materialize, the unmanned aircraft could fly at top speeds of up to Mach 6, or about 4,500 miles per hour, or about twice as fast as the SR-71S parent aircraft. A new turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC, propulsion system is hypothetically to blame for this enormous speed increase. This, along with an already built dual-mode ramjet, or scramjet, would have made it possible for it to fly much faster than any other aircraft, enabling it to quickly deliver payloads to any location in the world and make a full rotation of the Earth in a few hours. But could it really succeed? Although Lockheed has insisted that progress is being made, saying, for example, that the jet would be in early development by the early 2020s and would be ready to fly by the early 2030s, so far these targets do not appear to have been met. The jet has been discussed since 2013, and although Lockheed has insisted that progress is being made, the enormous technological demands that would be necessary to build and produce the plane were one barrier to its development, which Lockheed Martin acknowledged in 2018. At the SciTech Forum of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Lockheed Martin Vice President Jack O'Banion declared that the aircraft could not have been constructed without the digital transition. In fact, five years ago, it could not have been produced, implying that design work on a prototype may have started during that time. Since then, Lockheed Martin has not released any additional information about the project and further delays are likely now inevitable due to challenges sustaining global supply chains in the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak. The business still asserts that the plane might take off in 2025, 